Well, that's a pretty good pile of wood there. Um, there's a lot of ash on the bottom, oak on top, or excuse me, maple on top. And uh, that's probably going to be close to two cords. Reason being, uh, this is what the neighbors cut for me a couple weeks ago. Uh, I've had some friends over here putting those in baskets for me. Uh, that IBC tote there with the red bottom, that uh, the 275 gallon tote, you can see these from Zook are 330s. They say if you stack the wood in, I can go a little higher on that one with the red there. If you stack the wood in like that and fill the gap in the middle, you can get a third of a cord. Um, that one kind of needs to be restacked. But uh, there's still a lot of wood laying here, so can I only imagine. I'm guessing this is close to two cords. Um, realistically, I'm probably going to be uh, probably a cord and three quarters if I had to guess. Guys, first things first before we start doing the walk around. This is a 2021, I do believe. I'm going to have to look at uh, the title on that. Uh, 2021 Diamond C, as you see there, LDP, Low Pro Dump. This is kind of their commercial grade trailer. Um, came with a tarp kit. Uh, came with a spare tire holder. I purchased a spare tire separately. And this trailer was upgraded to the 12,000 pound front jack. So... Uh, let me flip the camera around here because I kind of only got one arm right now and we'll do a walk around this trailer I'll tell you what I like what I don't like all right beans I'm already here at the front of the trailer let's start at the front of the trailer I'll walk you around let me tell you things I don't like about the trailer first first thing that is annoying this latch right here for the tarp uh, I can't do it right now because I only have one arm basically but um, there's nothing that holds that up so they give you a yellow rope in there, as you can see, that hooks on this eye bolt here. So you can pull the tarp back to the back of the trailer all by yourself. Great idea. The only problem is there's nothing to hold that latch up. There's no spring. There's no magnet. There's nothing. So you get about halfway back, that latch drops, and then it just stops you in your tracks. Super, super annoying. Um, I have messaged them about it. Some guys say their customer service is great. I had sent them a thing about it, like, hey, is there supposed to be a magnet and I'm missing something? And the only thing they replied is, uh, we'll keep that in mind. Okay, so if you have an idea how to do that, I'm supposed to be getting a heavy magnet from a friend and hopefully that will work. Um, but like I said, I haven't been using the trailer much. So it's kind of been sitting, I haven't really thought about it. So uh, that's the only complaint there. Coming around here, uh, this is kind of the next complaint all right and it's not a big one guys but uh see how far that door sticks open the other one pulls a lot closer to the trailer this one can't because it hits the mechanism for the dump gate we'll walk around here and show you that yeah there's the mechanism for the dump gate and as you can see the trailer hits that so the left door doesn't close nearly as close as that one and that one's not even closed all the way uh, that's my only really complaint with those next complaint I love the idea of not having your ramps on the side of the trailer I think they did a great job with designing these doors the only problem is I don't know if the welds were off here or there or what the issue is that left door you basically have to beat that pin in with a hammer to get that to latch. Let me get a little closer here for you. Um, so I don't use the ramps very often, but uh, the reason this trailer is empty right now is my dad is going to borrow it and the tractor. He's got some stuff he needs to get done before winter. So I said, uh, I'll empty it out, come get it. But uh, yeah, they're all greasable um, hinges, as you can see there, but that door just does not want to close all the way it's kind of a pain in the butt uh, this one over here closes a little better but still not great but I guess everything in life's a give and take I'd rather have the ramps hidden underneath the trailer than having them hanging on the side of the trailer uh, when I was renting this trailer out for a dumpster I always take the ramps out because I just don't want them stolen and uh, I could probably put padlocks on there maybe that's easier out to go maybe I can get a padlock through those holes easier than I can get uh, those pins um, 
these are both a plus and minus i plan on buying another one of these trailers uh i want to buy a 12 foot with four foot sides to use just for a rental uh for garbage and trash and lawn waste spring cleaning all that stuff um when i was taking this trailer to the landfill it seemed like every time whatever was in here would get hung up on those back two d-rings i noticed some trailer companies now are mounting them up on the sides a little bit um, the two in the front don't seem to matter but uh if i wasn't going to be hauling the kubota in here or a skid steer i would definitely have cut cut those out already um that's just kind of a that's not a huge complaint but you know it's just annoying so kind of the last complaint on this trailer let me show you something and it's not diamond c's fault it's just frustrating to me so see this pin right here and see how they got that cotter key wrapped all the way around there for some reason somebody stole my other pin i did not notice it until i actually got it home one time and the pin was gone so this pin obviously holds this door frame on here and uh, I didn't get a hold of the factory. I don't know how much those cost. I was in a bind. I went to my local tractor supply and Rural King. Um, that is just a hydraulic pin for hydraulics. Uh, I think it's one inch by two and a half inch long. Fits in there perfect. What I'm going to do or have done because I can't do it right now. I'm going to have somebody weld a big washer on the end so it can't come out and you can't steal it. The reason being, I love the fact that this trailer has a three-way gate, which a lot of dump trailers do have now. So as you can see now, the doors are open. You can close the doors. Obviously, they're barn-style doors. You can release that latch down there on the left, and the trailer, when you dump, it's just like a dump truck. Uh, you know, it's the tailgate swings out. But there's also a third function that I can never, ever see myself using, is you can, let's go over here, First, you can pull those pins. Oh, where do we go? You can pull that pin on both sides. And you take the chain that's here and you move it up to that opening there. And then the back gate of the trailer will lay down like a tailgate on a truck. That might be nice uh, if you're hauling some longer stuff. With me, I'm just going to weld them things on there, those pins because I can't ever see myself using these as a tailgate. Number one, my header boards would probably fall out that are in the stake pockets. And number two, I have a big implement trailer if I ever need to haul anything along. But for me, when I start renting this trailer out again, those will be welded. Um, it's just not a function I can see myself using very often. So let's close the doors here uh, and I'll try to explain some of those things a little bit better. All right, there's the doors in the closed configuration. Um, at least now you can see that lock mechanism that was binding that door up a little bit is right there. And yes, I haven't been using the trailer. The 30-day tag's expired, but I got a plate in the house for it. But I do like this mechanism here. You pull the pin, you latch it, and then the door will pivot open um, for hauling dirt. That's really nice. I have uh, hauled a few loads in here and then uh, one to a buddy's house. So... Um, that's about it on that. Everything else I'm very happy with on this trailer. It's very well built. Um, you know, you got your your simple lock, latching mechanism there. Um, so you got two points of contact, which is nice. Some trailers just seem to have one. That's kind of the stuff I look at. Um, what else is there? So here's something that is not an issue to me, but I saw in a couple other YouTube videos. So just let me explain something. This is a dump trailer. It's a piece of equipment. It's going to get used. It's going to get scratched. That's what you buy it for. I watched run review, one review, excuse me. I don't know who did it, um, who made the video, but their biggest complaint that they couldn't get over on this trailer is that these chains hang here and going down the road, they're going to mar the surface of that bar or they're going to mar the surface of the trailer right there. So let me show you something here there basically the problem solved you can see most of the time i don't tuck those chains in there's a little bit of surface scratching there not a big deal um, there's some other trailers who maybe have a better design on that um, it's not a big deal for me it's going to get scratched 
you know, I have a Kubota L3901. Yeah, at first I'm like, oh, I don't want to get it scratched up. And then next thing you know, we're pulling trees out of the woods with it and knocking down brush. They're going to get scratched, guys. They're tools. Just use them. That's what they're made for. And don't get me wrong, I like to keep my stuff nice. I like to, you know, make sure that if this is going out to a client's house, it's all cleaned up. People really comment on that, and it makes a difference. But some things, you know, um, some guys are worried that this bar is going to start chipping off. If you do your research, Diamond C, I believe out of all the trailers, and this is kind of one of the determining factors from me buying this trailer, Diamond C uses some of the best powder coat and the best powder coating process. Um, I worked for a paint company for seven years. I understand a good powder coat from a cheap powder co coat. And most of the time, it's not even the powder coat, it's the prep. These guys do a fantastic job. Um, somebody's pulling in the driveway, not sure who that is. Hold on one second. So it was a weird van, but it was FedEx. Yeah, FedEx is here. Real quick, interruption. Funny story about that package. Uh, I was in the hospital for a week. When I got home, I still couldn't really take care of myself for a week. I couldn't even get up on my own. So if my wife was busy, my six-year-old daughter would help, have to help me pull me off the recliner and you know get my shoes, get my meds, put my socks on, button my shirt, everything like that. Pretty bummed up. So one day my daughter says, do you want to watch Harry Potter? And I said, sure. I've never seen a whole Harry Potter movie. So we have movie number one. I thought, great. Next day she goes, do you want to watch the next Harry Potter movie? I thought, number two, great. I never watch movies back to back, so I never remember what's going on. So I'm watching this movie and I'm like, wow, these guys look, these kids look really old in this movie. And my wife was, you know, she works from home. She was in meetings. And I told my daughter, I'm like, please turn this off. Like I watched four hours of it. This movie started over again. And I'm like on some pretty heavy pain pills, dozing in and out. Started having dreams about Harry Potter. I'm like, Kenzie, what kiddo, what is going on with this movie? And then my wife comes and starts laughing. She goes, oh, that's movie number five. So I literally was on the couch with this playing in the background for nine hours. Literally watched this movie three times on and off. I've never been waterboarded, but I can only imagine it's almost as bad as watching a Harry Potter movie three times in a row that you have no idea what the hell is going on. But back to the trailer review. But you know, the chain thing really isn't a deal breaker for me. Um, I've been asked a lot, why didn't you buy a trailer with taller sides? Why didn't you buy a four foot side so you can get more stuff in it? If you guys know anything about dump trailers right now, there's a giant backlog. I got lucky. Um, go back and check out when I bought this trailer. There's a couple videos. I stopped at the dealer. They didn't have anything on the lot I was looking at. They said, hey, any given time, we got 400 to 700 trailers on order. Let's go in the office and see if there's anything you want. I said, all right. So uh, they said, we got this 14 foot coming in. That's what I wanted. I knew I could get the tractor in it. Um, I wish I had taller sides, but honestly, guys, this trailer, 14 foot, like I just said, 14,900 GVWR, uh, two, I think these are 7,000 or 7,500 pound lipper axles. Um, I have overloaded this trailer. I have had 14,000 pounds in it with topsoil. Uh, it wasn't intentional. The loader operator made a mistake uh, pulling it out of there. I was like, man, this trailer seems heavy. They have a scale on the bucket of the tractor. And uh, yeah, so they don't have a scale you drive over. Uh, the trailer dumped it, but it was not happy about it. So now I'm make sure, you know, there's no sense having to dump trailer if you overload it and can't dump it because then you're gonna be in there shoveling it out. Um, <clears throat> but this trailer weighs right in 42 or 4,300 pounds. Uh, in that other video, I took it over the scale and have the weight slip on it. But uh, probably weighs a little bit more now because that was before I had the boards on, so I had a couple hundred pounds for those 2x12 oak. But yeah, guys, no complaints on this trailer. Um, but yeah, so if you even have a 10-foot trailer with 4-foot sides and you load it to the top, you're either going to be snapping axles or it's definitely not going to dump. Uh, they use good components on these trailers. They use 6-inch cylinders. Go back and watch my other video. Am I happy with this purchase overall? Yes. Um... I will say that, like I said earlier, we want to go buy another one <clears throat> uh, when I get the okay to go back to work so we can kind of start our small business back up again. I would like to buy 12 foot with four foot sides or even taller sides because um, garbage doesn't weigh a lot. 
I think in the month and a half that I was running this trailer, uh, renting it out before I got hurt, I think I did, I rented it out 10, 12 times, something like that. The heaviest this trailer ever was, was 1.19 ton. So not heavy at all. Um, and what have I hauled in this trailer? Garbage, obviously, some compost. Uh, I did I haul a load of stone in it for here? I don't remember. Uh, I have loaded a couple loads of topsoil and uh, it's been a good trailer. I'm very happy with it. If I could get that tarp kit issue fixed, that's really my only, or that latch, that's my really only uh, major complaint. Now that my arm's bummed, I know you can upgrade that jack to a hydraulic jack for $1,200. We may be going that route. Depends how much use of my arm I get back. But uh, when I was renting this trailer out, there were some tight spots that I wish I had a 10 or a 12, 12 foot. The 14 moves the axles back a little bit farther. Um, sometimes it's just a little hard to uh, get in some tight spots. But we get it done. Caution. Thanks for the support on this channel and thank you for the support you guys are giving me here in my personal life. Um, I, do, I do put some of my personal life out here on YouTube. I'm not here just to make videos. Uh, I feel like this is a second family. I have people uh, that I met through YouTube every day that are messaging me, asking how I'm doing um, and stuff like that. So I appreciate it. Physical therapy is going. Um, not as well as I'd like, but that's the way it goes. Um, we're trying every day. Some days are better than others, mentally and physically. So uh, I still get frustrated sometimes because there's a lot of things I'd, I'd love to be doing, like renting this trailer, playing on the tractor, hunting, fishing right now, and I uh, can't do any of that stuff. But, uh, ah, arm hurts, can't get comfy right now even. But thank you guys for all your support. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, the subscriptions in the last month have kind of gone through the roof, and we really appreciate it. Um, I told Kiddo I'd like to be at 1,000 by the end of January, and we're almost at 700. So tell your friends about us. Um, uh, I really personally don't care about uh, subscribers. I mean, I care about subscribers. I don't care about the number. That's not why we did this um but the kiddo really thinks a thousand mark would be awesome so yeah i would definitely care about my subscribers you guys are like a second family to me so feel free to message us on anything and uh we will be doing a video on how to make money with these and how much money i did make and there's one time i rented this trailer out that sticks out in my mind uh made 150 dollars for 50 minutes of work that's not bad so stay tuned for that video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping uh, my family and myself in your prayers. It means more than you guys know. Take care.